Okay, you guys ready for a busy day? We have got all of our hay fields ready to be mowed, raked up, and baled today. We got rain coming in, which is going to put a little bit of a damper on our plans as the sun rises this beautiful morning. Just making sure our greenhouse is all good, our chickens are all good. So we're going to get right to work on the grass fields. We also will need to be getting to fertilization once our canola gets all grown. You will see that a lot of our fields are pretty well done. We have a few fields, three fields, that are going to need another layer. But otherwise, they are completely planted in canola, doing very, very well. Love to see it. All, even our field up here is doing well. So overall, we're going to be making some good money. In fact, there's my mower. While we hook up, let me look at my list. In November, eggs and I think maybe the oil, the canola oil. Yeah, I think those are the two things that are at the high point for selling. So it's September right now. We'd have to go through a couple months get to November to do that, which I think I'm going to try and do by the end of the video. But I just wanted to run back. Oh, well, hold on. First of all, they're actually already growing and we have a bit of a weed issue and I kind of want to kind of want to take care of these weeds right away. It says we could hoe and we have a, is that a weeder we have or is that a roller? I think we have a roller. I think I have a lot of rollers and I don't even really care about rolling anymore, to be honest with you. It's such a small little bonus, but we do have good sizable rollers. If we're not going to use them, I should be getting rid of them. But uh, theoretically, I'm supposed to be. I don't have any sort of weeder. So we need to look in here and see if it's even worth doing or if I should just put down the chemicals because I could just do that. I have the uh, supplies to do it. We can go with literally any size of these. I think we would be just fine. Uh, really, I don't want to spend a whole lot. So hey, this one's kind of nice, but it's $45,000. It's a lot of money, dude. Six meters, 15 meters. That's 12, and that can plant. I don't really need anything that can plant. Nine, another nine, but that's like 50? Man, goodness. Why are you so much? I'd like to find one on sale is what I'd like to do. What do you cost at least? $2,300, really? Ah, <sighs> heck. All right, you know what? Hold on. We're going to put this right here just for a second so I can pull the deer out because I think we're probably... Do I have... I have a sprayer, don't I? Surely. I have materials as if I had a sprayer. Do I not have a sprayer? What is it? Must have sold it. Must have? Or no, I never bought one. I've been leasing one. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Well, that's fine. Those are expensive too. I, th I thought we bought one of these on sale, man. Okay, well, we could buy a sprayer for 34 or 5. That would do fertilizer and it would do herbicide. We could do a weeder for 45 and it would just do that one task. Let me lease it just to see how this thing works, just to try it out. I was just, I'm curious to see if it's even worth using. So we're gonna go down, pick it up from the store. If I could, I would hire a worker to be mowing my fields and I might just do that. The problem is sometimes they don't do a very good job, so I'd rather just do it myself. But we're, uh, we're moving along, $45,000 to start our day here in September. Like I said, if we can get ourselves to November, we will have a payday of some kind. And then from there, our big payday, honestly, is January. We will sell our really high dollar stuff in January. Ta-da! There's the waiter. So this thing was $2,300 to lease. Too bad I can't just buy for $2,300, you know what I mean? Hey, do you not connect me? Or was I just really bad? Oh, all right. That's fine. All right, let's see how this thing handles these fields. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This does not have narrow tires. Should we invest in narrow? Yeah, let me just go back and invest. I should have done that while I was there, but I forgot. This fella does not actually have narrow tires. If I drive out there, which you'll see just right there, they'll be fine right now because they're a young, resilient crop. So we'd be able to do this fine at their early growth stage. But I want to get ahead of myself accidentally driving out there in the next growth stage and destroying a bunch of crop. So let me go swap our tires out for some narrow tires real quick. I'll be right back. Wait a minute. Come here. Did I not fix you? I thought I fixed you. I totally spent the money on fixing you last time. Did I not fix this, guys? Did I come here and look at the price to fix and not fix? I swore I fixed it. Brother, you gonna cost me that much to fix just again? I was ready to spend that on tires, not on repairs. I'm not repainting it. I'll tell you that. Ooh, fine. You can fix yourself. I don't know why you needed it. I mean, I thought you were good. Maybe I didn't do it. I don't know. Oh, well, let me get my tires on. Okay, so we're, 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 I don't know what to say here. Um, 
These are the narrowest tires that I can find. They're a communal tire. They're not really an ag tire. Oh, probably not what I should be putting on my tratter. But that's the narrowest I got. Otherwise, it's they're all wide tires, man. Like, they're all standard wide tires. I, um, so I'm not exactly sure what to do about that. I could do twins. I could do twins. I could do fatties with wheels. I mean, I don't know, man. Uh, I really have a feeling that that's not going to have that desired outcome. Looks like a giant lawnmower. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I know I said I was going to come down here and do this, but I didn't know that we didn't have any very good options. I mean, those communal tires weren't really any smaller, dude. We have like a standard ag tire on there. I don't know. The communal might be easier on them. Be harder on me. It's fine. We can manage right now, but in the future, we will have to keep in mind that the other tractor is more suited for these sorts of tasks once they're grown further. All right, y'all, we're just going to wing it. Here we go. Hopefully we don't destroy stuff. No, we're good. Like I said, they are the young enough stage that uh, it's, it seems to be fine. It's not getting like most of these. It's getting some of these. Um, did you boys lie to me? Don't lie to me. Do I need to do something? No, the weeder is there. Hey, you were... Yeah, it says maybe... Is this not what a... Was this for a different stage? I don't understand. They got rid of a lot. They didn't get rid of them. I mean, it, I, I don't know how to feel about this. I feel like it uh, could have done better. If I drive around, my, my, my vehicle does pretty good. See that? I might just drive around for a bit out here, waste some diesel. <laughs> well, I don't know what the deal is with some of the weeds just don't go away. I guess they're a little too big down there, some of them. So they're going to need sprayed anyways. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, well. Maybe this will just get it by or something. I, nah, it's a lot of weeds being left over, man. I don't needed to hit this field a little sooner or something, maybe. I wonder if going over it again would be beneficial. Let me just, real quick, let me just overtop that. No, I don't think so. I don't think that's going to make any bit of a difference, huh? Well, I'm just going to keep on rolling here. We're going to get these few uh, canola fields as done as I can for the time being. We need to get on to mowing our hay up so it can get trying. Of course, we got rain coming in here soon. But if it is going to rain on hay, then right after we mow it is, I guess, better than after it dried. Well, as you guys can see, it definitely trimmed the weeds back a little ways. But uh, there's, there's still a good amount of weeds out here. Um, I'm thinking maybe it'll do better in the next field. Uh, we'll see. We've only got this other one field here to deal with right now. Because all the other fields are actually clean according to my deal. We'll still go visually check on them. This looks like it might... Oh, it's working much better in this field. So this field, the weeds are the proper age. We're getting all of them cleared out. Very clean. And that field, some of them were just too far gone. So that one, we are going to have to go ahead and spray as well. Not the end of the world. We can get that done. When I planted this section, we actually, uh, since we own the field down there too, I planted it this direction and just went into the two fields there. You know, from this field to that field. We went down and back, down and back. It worked pretty darn smooth if you ask me. But we don't need to do that, not in terms of the weeds, because this field is all clean in front of us. Had potatoes in it. I took them out. I didn't want them. Sorry. Okay, so I can see where having one of these would be useful if you were able to get to the weeds in the very early stage. This is nice. You don't have to put the chemical down. It's just a matter of the time and fuel spent. However, even if you do get this, a sprayer is still kind of sort of needed for the times where you're not able to get to it or you need to spray something else or whatever it may be. So first, I think I'd prioritize getting the sprayer and then we'll look into uh, expanding our weed control further should we see any need to do so. But for now, I'm going to hit a couple more down and backs on this field. And that should be all that we need to do for these fields so far. Probably have more next month. Watch. I'm sure we will. But it's about 10 and we still haven't had that rain or gotten the field yet. I'm getting a little worried now. It's taking longer to do this than I thought. Also, we've got a lot of contract options that we could do here and make some money on, especially this one, this one, and this one. There is a chance to make money there. What we can do is hire 
uh, we can actually just lease one of the pieces of equipment, whatever we determine is the most valuable to lease out of all of that, probably this one. And we can use that piece on all of those contracts and have a hired worker go out and do it and just make that little bit of extra money while we're doing our job. Not a terrible idea. The thing is, is are we gonna have a tractor available? We've got two tractors and, oh, actually, if we lease that one, we're, we're fine, right? Yeah. So I think it's I think it sounds like a W. Let's just let's just do it. What do you say? So I'm gonna go ahead and lease the big one, just so it takes uh, not as long, you know what I'm saying? And then I don't know how many oh we have some harvesting. I have a combine not being used. Any of these Yeah, we could put some my combine to work. Make some money. That would take my involvement a tiny little bit. Weeding? Oh, I've got that leased. I can make a little extra money while we're... Hey, we're busy today. We're busy today. We're busy. We're busy. We're, we're very busy today. I got a lot of opportunities to make money. I just need to... I just need the time. <laughs> okay, so first thing, we've got that going. I want to get a other cultivator contract going, and I'm not going to accept the other one yet, just to leave us room in case we want to start one of the weeding ones while we're mowing with the other with the other tractor. Huh? Putting all of our assets to work, even the one we lease. We just gotta make sure we get enough work to pay the wage and, and the equipment and everything. But it, as long as we stay above a certain amount and we share the equipment over multiple contracts, it's fine. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this one here. So th that guy needed to go to field number 72 and then 60. So 72 and 60, those are 72s down there, okay, and 60 is okay over there. And then I do want to put this weeder on a job, I think, just while we have it to help pay for it and make it more use or more, you know, worth having. So we're going to go ahead and try and see if we can take a third. We'll do this one. 68 is where it's at. Takes the big one. Okay. So first I want to go to 68. That is a big one. So we'll get him started right away. We'll start on 72 and then we'll run over to 60. That way we'll be at 68 when he is getting finished. Now, of course, why are we stuck? Is this thing on? Am I? Oh, it's because it's lowered still. <laughs> we still have a lot of hay to mow today. Of course, that is our main objective and we're going to be taking care of that, of course. A train. We gotta wait on that. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Honk, honk. But the more of these assets that we own and we are able to start putting to work with other people doing the job, the faster we're gonna start to see our bank account go up. It's okay if somebody else gets a paycheck involved with us earning money, right? That's fine. Somebody else got to get paid, they gotta get paid. The, what matters is that we still make money at the end of the day, okay? Still wanna make more than we're spending. And it's been rough, but we're getting there. We're getting by. We've been getting in more and more better positions to spend less and less unnecessarily, but we're making pretty good progress so far. In fact, I wonder our production... T oh, we are almost full. We are almost full on our canola. We need to get that sold. That sells in November. So it's going to be just a little bit before we can actually get to that. I don't want to sell early. Our deal's nearly full. Well, might just have to shut down for a moment. I don't know. Unless I can get extra storage. I can probably get some extra storage. I can find a way. I can take it over to our barn is what I can do. We'll just need uh, some good method of transportation is all. But we'll get that figured out. A new thing that we did not anticipate having on our agenda, but here we are. So I'm going to get this one hired working in the field. I'm going to tab over combine. Yeah, I could do some harvesting. It's a whole nother thing I have sitting around I could get doing something, but I think we're limited to three contracts. And we have three contracts because I took two cultivating. I guess I really didn't need the second cultivating contract yet. Could have waited. Definitely could have waited. That is my mistake, my inefficiency. But I recognize the mistake and uh, we won't make it again. How about that? Well, I'm, okay, we'll make mistakes again, but we'll refrain from making that one as best we can. <laughs> okay, this is the field right here. Just trying to estimate. I think that is all the wider it goes. So I'm going to try and line that fella right on up. This is all leased equipment for this job. Hire the worker and let them do the job instead of me. I'm going to tab back up here and get started right on our mowing. So we got a dude weeding. We got a dude uh, cultivating. And we've got me mowing. We could have had someone harvesting, but honestly, it's okay that that is slow at the moment because I would have had to have been involved to some capacity as well. 
That just is a lot. But I'm ready to get started here on the grass. So let's get as much of this mode up as we can. This is going to be cut number three of the year. September right now. October, November. Probably the last cut we're going to see this year, if I'm being honest with you. Um, the last cut at this height, at least. But we'll see how that all ends up playing out here in due time. Right now, I'm going to get mowed along the road. Get our headland passes finished up. As, ooh, that kind of shifts there, doesn't it? I think I noticed that last time, too. But you guys know the process of mowing these hayfields, so I'm not going to bore you with the details. We've been through a couple of them. Well, it's uh, started raining on me, so I'm just cleaning up the little stragglers right here, and I'm not going to keep mowing while it rains. That could half my yield and my grass. I don't know if it affects grass or not, so I'm just going to stop. We'll pick that up here in just a little bit. Noon o'clock rain, no big deal. Harvesting's going to be stopped for everybody. Let's see. Weeder is still out here going about halfway, working on the halfway point right now. And this fella over here is also working on their halfway point as well. So both fields, actually this fella's beyond halfway because that gets smaller from that road. So both fields are making pretty good progress so far. We're still going to make money off of these, even though we have hired worker doing all of this work. We've been testing it out here with our finances, where we can see the wage payments here. So far in August, we had 909. September, we're at 824 right now, but we've got a couple hired. But that's not too bad compared to what we should end up making if we're able to get all the contracts we want to do done. That's where we're at. We've got our canola well taken care of. These fields are still being worked on. We're waiting on the rain for the grass mowing here. And once the rain passes, I'll hop back in the Massey and continue our mowing. But for now, I'm going to check on some things around here at the farm. We got our chickens doing okay. We got our greenhouse is doing all right. And our barn. I think I want to figure out while it's raining here how to move this stuff over. I've got on a distributing trying to bring it over here, but I don't think that it is. So I think I might have to physically bring it here. But we don't have that much more canola left of last season's crop, so that's not too bad. We just need to get some of this moved out of here. And as far as a method for moving that goes, um, I don't really know. Uh, <laughs> some kind of trailer, maybe, I guess. I don't know for sure. This is the oil mill here. Now, if we set them to spawn, they'll spawn right here. We can pick them up with a pallet deal and put them wherever we want them to go. Oh, look, if I wanted to cheat and get a little money, I could just collect that, but I'm not gonna. Hey, you know what? If I own this, I own that. Therefore, I should own the money it's worth, right? Theoretically? Anyways, so that's probably what we're gonna have to do. Um, because it's not distributing, so... It's September, which is nowhere near our high. Our high month would be October, November. So I don't really want to sell right now. I'd rather store. Okay. I'm going to need a trailer, fellas, and I don't want to get one. What do we do? What do we do? Okay. Um, Got the little trailer. We could put a couple things in. We could buy a big trailer. We could go with a flat top trailer. Not a bad idea. But now we're talking about how to load these things. Now we're saying, oh, suddenly you need some kind of forklift. And uh, boy, this just gets more and more and more expensive. Okay. I'm going to set this to storing, I think. So it spawns them now. They're 1,000 liters per pallet. So I got 4,000 liters there. That would I need to clear at least 3,000 some. 3,000 and probably 300, let's call it. So if I move these four, that should give me enough room for the rest. If I only need to move the four of them right now, then let's see what happens when I run down there and just try to move them. I could stack two onto here and try to move them like that. Instead of going spending a bunch of money right now, let's just do what we can with what we can. Still got a mower attached in case we need to mow anybody's yards, eh? I've uh, kind of sort of had the urge to play that long mo uh, lawn care sim, lawn mowing sim, whatever it was. I haven't played it for a very, very, very long time. And um, I don't really remember if I cared for it too much or not. But hey, I'm down to try it. Maybe, sort of, possibly, kind of. I don't know. What do you think? I think that's a stack of two. And to go any farther would be pushing my luck. So we're going to sneak these back over to the farm. And then we're going to come get two more. But there they are. Our very first bottled products of canola oil produced from our very own farm. Now, here's the interesting thing. Farming Simulator really focused on production chains. And I appreciate that we have these factory buildings that we can use and we can own these means of production and create these products because then people can role play the trucking aspect 
aspect, the, the you know, warehouse aspect, the business aspect, whatever it may be. But where I think they slightly missed the mark and could be very quickly fixed is by providing not large factory options. By instead focusing on farmers market options like local sourced, locally produced farm, you know, product and then being able to like produce that small scale on your farm for cheaper and being able to then sell that at a local farmer's market that only shows up like every, you know, Saturday in the game or whatever method every third day in the game or whatever method there is. That kind of from farm to table aspect of farm sim is more accurately what I think the production chains should be used for in focus of farming simulator. But I love that you can do the grander product, larger production focus like a, you know, big business aspect of it okay i'm not saying that that needs to go away i'm just saying with a small tweak we need that smaller more community local focused aspect of it because then i feel like it's more in tune with what farming simulator is about so if anyone wants to shoot that over to giants uh, there, there's my little bit of wisdom for you i got lots of it <laughs> i'm sure that they know they're like yeah we don't we're tired of hearing it <laughs> fair 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 but just give me a natural disasters dlc come on okay so here's the deal also we have this barn which is fantastic it's good to hold all of our product i love this barn a lot of people ask where you can find it. So if you look in silos, I believe it should be in here. Yes, it is. It's this white barn right here towards this. It's the second thing. This fellow right here is a base game asset. It is awesome. Holds a lot of stuff, bales and pallets. But I think I need another one of these over at our production facility. So we don't need it right now. We don't have the capacity. It ain't really worth it. But eventually it could be. Right now what I have on my mind is moving as much of the bee stuff out of the way as possible. Because I want to move that bee spawn point. It puts the pallets down right here. And uh, according to you guys, for the most part, there's not a uh, distance cut off. I know a lot of people say don't put it too, too far away, but it like theoretically should still work within a well radius or so. So we're going to move that uh, spawn point over where that rock pile sets. That way these are easier to, whoopsies, these are easier to store right into the barn. It'd be kind of fun to just put it right on top of the other trigger. So they just spawn, despawn, spawn, despawn. But you'd have to interact with it a little bit. You have to go touch it to do that. So not worth doing. It'd just be a headache. But we are going to get the honey put away. That way I can clear this uh, little pad off here. And then maybe we'll invest a little bit more into some honey because it can be profitable. It is a little slow for us right now. But if we get more capacity, have more to sell, I have more incentive to sell it every year. I don't think we've actually sold any honey since we started producing some. So this will be our first honey sale coming up. This is not a finished pallet. I'm going to take it anyways. Like I said, trying to clear that sucker right on off. And before it spawns another one, I'm going to go ahead and sell that off. Now, if I go into animals, if I go into bees, I can now spawn that over here again, which... One moment, I need to get rid of some rock I got piled up there, no big deal. In case you didn't know, you can just paint that stuff away if you want to. Goes for any fill type. Okay, so I'm gonna stick the spawn point right over here. Now I don't know the direction that it faces. So I'm gonna go with ride a boot there and just call that good. So cool, we got that for the honey. Now, let's just put down some even more honey. That's a lot of money on that honey. But I don't have anything else going on on the side of this building. We can probably do this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put it right there. Okay. So, actually, you know what? I'm going to sell this little dude. Just don't even need it. Don't want it there. <laughs> just sell it off. So, we've got one sitting right here. We've got one sitting right here. They should theoretically both spawn to that one spawn point. And also, if we put those next to fields with certain crops, it will actually help those fields, I believe. They'll give them a little bit of a boost. But uh, I don't know how it works, and I'm not in too much of a concern about it to be honest with you so but this will do good for me harry potter our way out of here our new spawn point in a much more convenient location and we got to go take care of one of our hired workers get them on our next job ended up in a ditch actually that's a rough time i'm sure we've all been there at some point in our life right okay so let's take a gander both of these fields are done so the weed weeder guy needs a new contract and he was not even on 
a contract, so I'm fine. I'm not going to pay off the 72. I'm not going to collect that because it'll take away the equipment. But 68, I'll go ahead and collect. We're on to 60 for cultivating. I'm going to get another small weeding one up at field 22. Might as well. Maybe it's worth it. Maybe it's Maybelline. I don't know. Oh, what the heck? Is it really hurting anybody? We could also do the fertilizing one. Not a bad option. Oh, they want solid fertilizer? That's fine. I could do that. I could do that easier because I have one of those. Okay. Well, let's do that for now. So you have to go all the way up north and I don't want to drive you there. So my friend, I'm going to hire you to get your butt up there yourself. Field 22 is where you need to go. Um, in fact, if you would like to just figure out how to get into this farmyard right here, then I'll handle everything from there. But you go on that away, okay? Don't tell me you can't get there. There you go. Good job. Proud of you. Don't you wreck. And now this one, I actually considered the contract done, so I'm going to consider it done, even though that small little pass is not finished in front of me. Call me a cheapskate, but if we're going to get our money, I'm out of here. On to the next one. <laughs> AI. Blocked by a worker or an object. Already. What'd you hit, Baba? I'm going to find out because I'm heading down here. Did you hit the bridge or a car? Which was it? Taking me longer to get to you than I thought. You're going to be honest. It was the bridge. Good job, Bubba. So proud. That's how you do it right there. Travel through without hitting it. That's when you have a good day. All right. Come here. Come here. Let Papa fix you. Hold on now. Okay. We got that tractor rolling. Hopefully it doesn't crash again. We're almost to where we need to go. It's up here to the right then the left. And it'll be in the middle. This is a pretty little area. Kind of want to start a farm over here. Maybe if we ever do another series on Elm Creek, we'll start over in this section. I've never actually farmed over here much, so not a bad idea. This is the field we're going to be doing right here. And by we, I mean the guy we're hiring, because I'm not doing it. But I dang sure am going to make some money off of it. And that, that's how you become a billionaire right there. Cla a crash course. <laughs> oh, he's going to end up a little off, just like me. And uh, anyways, we're going to continue waiting on the grass, I guess. Because the rain still is uh, not ready for us. So looking at harvesting, this one probably pays the best for a reason. How big is that field? 31. Well, I know 31 is over this way. It's next to our field. That's not very far away. What is in 31? It's ready to harvest, and it is a field of sorghum. That's not bad. I have a little trailer I could put it in. Uh, I could park it over there and just run the combine. And Okay, I'm sold. We're going to do it. We have a combine. Let's let it make a little money. So I'm not going to borrow the items. Even though they're great items to have for the price, I'm going to just do it with my own. So we will take the... I have three contracts active. No, 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 I don't. I don't. Listen to me, Farm Sim. You need to figure out your categories. Do you see how there's two inactive and one incompleted? Completed isn't active, it's completed. If it was active, it would be inactive. Completed is a whole new category. It is unfair to consider them the same. I'm sorry, but if you if you want to consider them the same, you can't call them active when you when you get when you tell me I can't do another one, right? When you're like, hey, you have three active contracts. No, I have two active contracts with one completed. Well, it don't really matter because we're almost here to do the weeding job. It'll take us five seconds with how small the field is, and then we will have not only this tractor, but also this contract active availability slot open so we can do those other jobs. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, all my time in this game, I ain't never been up to this farm. I like it here. Kind of want to make it my farm. This is a pretty little spot. Y'all got a nice place here. I'm going to own it one day because, well, don't ask why, but one day I'm probably going to own this entire county. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos. All right, we're doing the work. Let's get the money from it. I'm going to do this myself. Oh, it's not raining anymore. Maybe I should get back to doing that. Can I hire this guy out? He's going to finish this field. Then we'll get the that stuff all going. You all know the deal, but I got to get back to my mowing here. So my canola looks like grass. I'm going to mow it. <laughs> Just kidding. I'd be lost in money. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I ain't about losing money, contrary to what my bank account looks like. We do still need to spray the weeds out of that field, so I have to lease a sprayer. Unless we can somehow earn enough money to buy one, but uh, I don't see that happen. Not quite yet, but we'll see how it goes. See how many bales we can get off of this third cutting of the year. Hopefully not our last, but it, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it was. But either way, we've got our headlands done. It's time to hit some down and backs, and uh, we'll see how much this ends up being. Okay, we've been hitting some down and backs, and uh, both of our contract workers have just finished, really. So we're going to get both of them taken care of. Now the first one with the weeder, this was the very last job we needed done. 
None of our other fields need it ourselves, and that field is finished. So not only can we return the least weeder, but we can also get paid for the last contract on it. And we just completed field 60, so we'll collect the money for that one. We're not gonna collect this one yet as we're going to do another field 43 now. So we will accept that contract and we will accept a, probably the harvesting contract like I was talking about. Okay, so that's what we've got running. We've got to get our tractor back down to our farm for our farm's purposes here. So I'm gonna actually just have somebody deliver our tractor back to the farm down here. And while they handle that, I'm gonna get this tractor to its next field. We will be cultivating 43. So where is 43? We're at 58, 43 is gonna be, okay. Not too bad, kind of back towards our place a little bit, but should be able to get there no problem. So let's get the cultivator over there and working. We should have, yes, that guy from 22 is coming down to our farm. I'm gonna get, I don't know if he can handle pulling out of our barn, this is the this is going to be a real test if he can handle pulling out of the barn or not. But I'm going to tell this guy to pull up to 31 and just kind of park there with that combine. Nope. Okay, he cannot pull out of the barn. Well, it was a worthy little test. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll just send that guy on and we will hop into the combine and pull it on out of our barn. I should have imagined that that was a little too difficult for it. Maybe in the next farm sim, they'll be a little smarter, right? But we will use our newly acquired combine, the trailer we've had for quite a little while, and we'll just put all the crop into that for the, uh, for the client. Luckily, their field is right over behind the gas station, crossed our farm next to our other piece of land. So very, very close. Great opportunity to make us uh, about $5,000 here. Well, minus whatever the operating cost is, but even still. And while we're over here, we get a chance to see our crop. Canola growing, looking good. Okay, this is the one right here, right next door. Don't have access to this land? Well, you just you wait, because I will. Watch. I know I have access. Yes, sir. There we go. Sorghum. So I'm just going to hire the worker. He's going to get to work. She's going to get to work, rather, on this field with her sunglasses. Oh, heck yeah. Looking cool. This person is pretty close to showing up to the field, so I'll just take over for him. They have more or less made it. I wonder if our other dude has made it here yet. No, he's almost there. He's actually, there he is, right back there. You see him? That's the fella. That's the tratter. <laughs> Oh, funny enough, but we got this guy ready to go on his little field here. Make us a little bit more money. An extra, what was this, 1400 roughly? It'll be a little less after the expenditures, but we're using the same equipment we uh, leased for that very first cultivating j job. And this is what I was saying, is we get to use the leased equipment for contracts on, on contracts, but the second I would have taken one of those and uh, put them on my farm to try and use it myself, it would have yelled at me. Okay, so I was thinking about fertilizing for a second there, but instead, probably better bring this trailer over. I don't need the tractor sitting there the whole time i don't think depends on our yield of that guy's field but i'd rather it not sit if it doesn't have to if i can just set the trailer there and send this tractor off on another job maybe spreading some more fertilizer we can make a little bit more money I'm trying to keep my assets busy you know it ends up costing me a little more that way but also as long as i keep my income above those expenses we're fine this is about all i wanted to bring out is a uh, little trailer to pipe into so i think i'll just park it right about here for the time being that's 50 percent oh it's gonna be high yield it's gonna be a high yield on this we're we're gonna be busy over here with that trailer where's they uh where do they want this i didn't even really look let's take a gander they want it sold to feed and grain south okay you want me to sell to feed and grain south who is that feed and grain those guys okay so we're up here i have to pull out and which road literally either one probably that one would be faster yep uh-huh could have the ai run on that maybe i should have leased the equipment just had an extra tractor that i could have been using i mean it would have been worth it we would have had another combine and i didn't really need another combine going well i tell you what i'm gonna leave that with that for now because something tells me it's gonna be really busy there but while we wait on that combine to get full and for me to have to go dump it we'll continue our mowing over here 
Okay, 80%. Well, remember when I said I'm gonna have to go dump it? Right after this pass. <laughs> All right, hold on, bucko. I'm coming. You just wait a minute, buddy. Me and Rudolph, we're on our way. You call me Santa Claus. Stick your pipe out and say hello, sir. All right, sorghum, there it is. If you haven't seen it, that's what it looks like. I'm only saying that because I think this might be the first time I've personally harvested sorghum that I remember. It's not, but it just feels like it. So I'll let you get dumped into there. I'm going to come back over to my guy. Keep rolling on what I was... Nope, 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 nope. Other by Jake. I'm going to keep rolling. Oh, we're going to have a little curly cue there. It's fine. There we go. Down and backs. Back into the rhythm. Nice and easy. Lemon squeezy. Oh, looks like one of our workers is done. Probably the cultivator. So we're going to switch him off to another task. Once we're done with all the cultivating, we'll com completely uh, get out of that uh, tractor and stuff we have sitting over there. Whoa, whoa, oh, you're not going. Well, hold on. Why did you stop? What made you unhappy? We just parked here and we're like, okay, mission accomplished. Go that way, buddy. There you go. Cultivator is not finished. Combine's going again. Okay, should be good to go. Okay, we've got pretty much all of the grass mowed except for that one tiny, tiny little one. But our combine over here is having another hard time, so we're going to have to figure something out about these headland passes to make them happy. So I'm going to send them down and back this other direction to clean some headlands up, and then we'll see how that turns out. About 70%, so we're going to need to... Empty in here soon anyways. But no, don't I don't like that. I don't like that angle. You are taking a bad angle, friend. When I want you to go do work, I want you to do it in line, son. Just like that. There you go. No, you done turned yourself the bad way again. That's a bad turn. Would listen, when I point you in a direction, you go that direction. I don't want you turning the wheel. Don't don't be turning the wheel now. You used to be good about this, farm sim. You used to be you point your farmer and then you turn him on and he just okay, that's what I'll go that way. Don't be turning. I'll, you're gonna make me do this myself, ain't you? Rude. I got other things to do, sir. I hired you to do this job, okay? Oh, and would you look at that? That's a full tank right there. All right, gonna have to get it unloaded. But first, we got this dude wrapped up in a tree. He's having a time. I guess I should see. Any more call? There's a couple small ones I don't want to do, so I'm just gonna say, oh, what? You're not finished? Come on. Don't get wrapped up in trees. Instead, finish your job so I can get money and then fire you. Workers, these people just don't want to work these days. Now I gotta go all the way over here to get this combine. Maybe we can get a, one more headland pass and then try to hire the guy back. I don't know. We'll see. For now, just fill me up and I got some other stuff to go take care of while you do so. Maybe them weeds are just gonna have to stay another season cycle. I don't know. I should really get, get them while they're young there. I honestly don't even like mowing this little piece, which is why I want to go ahead and find the money to put a barn on it. But my goodness, I know the barns are just dummy thick, expensive, dude. So I don't know. We might have to think about it and try and do something else. What's uh, What would be a valuable thing to put here? We could put some kind of livestock, maybe. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Sheep, not a bad idea. We don't need this much room for sheep, and I need a little equipment storage, so... I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it all out in good time. No hurry. We don't have the money to do it yet, so it's not like we are going to be doing it. <laughs> We've got time to contemplate. It'll be fine. I drew a pee. Look at my pee, everybody. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, I hit my trailer. I turned it the other way. Whoopsies. Completed their task. What'd you complete? Okay, sir, you need to do your task, actually. I need this fine fella to head this way so we can get our very last little headland strip done. Then we'll try to send him back on the down backs. So we'll see how that goes. While we're headed this way, this job should be done. It says it's done, but it's not done. What is the deal? Must be a little bit left over. I'm going to have to go do. Oh, well. All right, don't fail me. It's time for your down and backs, and I need you to do them right, okay? Don't do me dirty now. This this dude, this dude's been doing me dirty with the ditch over here. You've been having a time, haven't you? It's all right. I'll finish up the tiny little piece you missed, and we'll get our money out of this. We'll return the equipment and get our money out of its original contract as well. There we go. Finished. Don't need that anymore. Could maybe use the tractor, so maybe actually hold on to that for a little bit longer. Just leave that sit there and take the tractor. I like this plan. I like this plan. I'm using this. I'm using this. Hey, hey. So we're just going to keep that $3,000 for a second. But we can go ahead and collect that one right there. So we've made $1,300. we are going to keep that $3,000 just because I'm using the tractor for a little bit longer. That way I can free up my tractor 
and uh, we can make a little extra money doing the fertilizing contracts on top of this. I should have enough contracts available. Let's see. I have one and two. Yeah, we will. Okay. I've just been thinking about like future opportunities. Like in the next time we ever wanted to try earn a billion dollars, how would we start out next? And I'm wondering, could I do, can I just accept a contract that has equipment that I want and then never, ever, 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 ever complete the contract and just, no, because I can't use my own, I can use the tractors, but I can never use the tools, right? I think. Let's see. If it'll let me pull this trailer, I'll be fine. But I don't think I can use the tools on the land. So I could theoretically get all the tractors I need on that cheap one-time lease, potentially, if we are able to, like, cheese the system that way. You could maybe start your series that way, and it would work really, really well. I don't know if it would work. I don't know. Seconds away from finding out if you might be able to. Oh. Oh, yeah, dude. So you won't be able to, like, actually get a harvester, or you won't be able to actually get a plow or a planter, like, any of that stuff. You still have to buy all that. But if you need just the extra horsepower, a mobile tractor, something to pull something, something to do something, Something, you can just continue to use con the the contract tractor. So, <laughs> heck yeah, dude. Actually, our, our homie is gonna turn himself around, and I kind of don't want him to. I'd like to. I'd like to, sir, sir. No, stop, sir. Stop, sir. Please stop, sir, 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 sir. sir. You're gonna make me pull out there and, uh, sir, sir. Nah, I'm not doing it while we on to go. I can't pull it out there. I'm gonna. Does this have narrow tires? Or am I gonna destroy stuff, bro? Okay, the contract tractor does not seem to destroy stuff. There's another thing. I don't think they have narrow tires on here. It's the same tires I have, dude. Whatever. I'll take that. My advantage. Now we have a free tractor right here. We'll have those working from the contract for harvesting. This will go and start fertilizing. And I will resume and continue working on my mowing, ranking, raking, and baling. Whew, we have been busy today. But we're getting creative with it. And that's what I like to see. The more I do this, the more I start to like kind of formulate a plan of like, okay, if I was trying to earn money as fast as possible in here, if I was trying to earn a billion dollars in farm sim, this would be my game plan. Like I've been taking notes mentally to where I could just like kind of write a book and be like, okay, do this different, do this different, do this different. It's like the learning series where we're just learning. Oh yeah, that don't work, that don't work, <laughs> but this works. <laughs> I need a little bit of uh, ah, ah, a little bit of ah. You know what I mean? Don't have any. I need some solid fur and we ain't got none around here. I gotta go buy some? Shoot. I took this job thinking I had some and I wouldn't have to pay any more money to get the uh, materials, but it is what it is. We gotta go buy some materials. But y'all, we've been doing this for like 45,000 years. You get the picture. I got a lot going on right now. We're gonna pick it right up in the next episode. If you're enjoying, make sure you like and subscribe.